But I have a problem. I like to bring as many things as I can possibly bring with me when I go camping. Yeah, it's a problem. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Casey and one of the biggest challenges that I am always trying to solve is keeping my overlanding and camping gear as organized and efficiently packed as possible. So today we're gonna to take a look at some brand new products from Gerber Gear that are gonna help us with some of those challenges. So when it comes to allocating space for gear for cooking, I have to be as organized and as compact as possible. I really kind of keep things in two spaces only for cooking. One is this milk crate that slides in to the back here next to my tools, which I keep my espresso machine and some paper plates because I hate doing dishes when I'm camping and a couple other small items, which, oh, look, my fork and knife from Gerber Gear, which apparently I need to wash from the last trip still. So we'll, we'll put that aside for later. And then the second place is gonna be up here on the top of my security deck. I keep a couple of these Front Runner Wolfpack Pros. One has some tools and a jack in it, and the other one has anything I need for cooking. So we've got a stove, some gas, cutting boards, uh, whatever. So anything, anything that I'm gonna use to take for cooking needs to fit into either this milk crate or this storage tote. And that makes it much easier for me to move things in and out of the garage and the Jeep and as well into my other Jeep if we're gonna take that out on a trip because I don't have a lot of time to rearrange things all the time. So I need to stay organized. I need to keep everything compact and efficient, but I have a problem. I like to bring as many things as I can possibly bring with me when I go camping. Yeah, it's a problem. So today we are gonna take a look at and do a review of some new products from Gerber Gear. This is the complete cutting board set, which is not just a cutting board and some knives. Uh, it's all kind of designed to pack up and stow all together. And we're gonna take a look at the complete cook set, which there is an absolute ton in here. So let's get this unpacked and just see what comes in here. And I'll give you some of my thoughts and opinions of these two new products and give you guys some new options if you're looking to make things more compact and efficient and get some quality stuff because other gear that I've tested and used from Gerber Gear is really nice. I really enjoy it. Okay, two quick things before we get started with the review. One, I've had a lot of questions about how are things going with my Alucab Gen 3R. I've had a few small problems with it that I'm not quite ready to publish a longer term review, but I did just put a new video up in the member section of the channel talking about these problems and challenges that I've had with it so far. If you wanna check out sort of early access videos, behind the scenes, work in progress videos, there is a little join button next to the subscribe button on the channel. You can join the community here and uh, you can see what's going on ahead of the videos coming out. And the second thing I wanted to bring up, in 2024, I'm gonna be focusing the channel much more around reviews, product features and installs. These are my favorite videos to make for you guys because they're usually solving problems and helping people. And I really do enjoy that. Let me know problems that you have that you're looking for solutions for. I'll see if I can make some videos about that based on what I know, what products are out there that I know of or have already, or maybe I'll just get them and make a video about them. Uh, just a reminder that sometimes products are provided for reviews, but I will not commit to anything that goes into that video. So all of the reviews are brutally honest as always guys, just like you're gonna see in today's video. So if you wanna see more videos like that, hit the subscribe button guys, cause I upload videos pretty much every single week and I would love to see you coming back here, watching some of the videos, solving some problems and getting some help. All right, let's check this out. So I just wanted to mention before I start unpacking this, th these are separate products. This is the complete cook set. This is a separate product on its own from the complete cutting board set. And then we also have a couple of these awesome, I don't know, what do you call them, sporks? They're like spoon forks, but I have some of these in my kit already and I am glad to see a few more of these uh, come in these boxes because these are super handy and I never have any for anybody else to use. So these are actually made out of titanium. Yeah, these weigh less than one ounce. So if you're looking for a good spork in your hiking backpack kit, I don't know why you'd be hiking Maybe some of you guys like that kind of stuff. Uh, these are excellent, super lightweight. They're like featherweight. And uh, if you want, they include a little bottle opener. And I don't know what this little thing here is. You can see this here. 
this is what comes with them. Kind of neat, just clips on the back. All right, how about we take a look at the cutting board set first? Lots of uh, interesting marketing stuff here on the back. I need to get a table that uh, stand up at. While we unbox this, guys, if you have other uh, compact kitchen camping stuff uh, that you use, that you really like, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to check out some other products. We can maybe do some side-by-side -side comparisons because I think comparison videos are super interesting when we get a few different products that we can take a look at. Super compact. So we've got a cutting board that is latched onto the top. We got a couple, no, one latch. Oh yeah, there we go, second latch. Oh, neat, okay. So check this out, we've got two latches to secure everything together. So a flip up and then locks into place. So we've got a bamboo cutting board. I prefer bamboo. I use a bamboo cutting board in my house as well on the back of the tailgate table on the Wrangler behind me. My understanding is bamboo is supposed to be, uh, what do they call it? Doesn't store germs and bacteria in it, like plastic cutting boards. And you don't want to bring a glass cutting board. I don't think those are good anyways, but my preference has always been to use bamboo cutting boards. So this looks like some untreated bamboo. We do have a little gutter around the edge of it. So if you're cutting something that's, that's juicy, like steak, <laughs> it will uh, run into there, but we could also use the flat side. So underneath the cutting board, we have a uh, plastic tray that also has a gutter in it. And on here, we have some rubber feet that I think you could remove if you wanted to. And this is going to, there we go. Yeah, check that out. So this is gonna let you put your cutting board down and it's not gonna slide around because we've got rubber feet on the top and the bottoms. I hate it when my cutting board's sliding around while I'm using a sharp knife, which we seem to have some in here as well. And because we need to measure it, to see how big this cutting board is. We're looking at 15 and three quarters inches from edge to edge, 10 inches. 10 inches this way. So this is a good size for any tailgate table that you might have. They all are generally gonna be about that wide. So, oh yeah, look at this. This is uh, my favorite little chopper that I keep back here, also from Gerber Gear. Cool little, uh, I don't know what kind of knife you call this, but I always keep it back here, tucked in behind my tailgate table on the magnet, but it slides down, but that's okay, it doesn't fall out. Can we close this with this in here? Hey, I don't need to store it anywhere else. I can store it right in there. That's cool. I guess if we don't want to bring any of that other stuff, we could just keep this always ready to go in there. All right, so what else comes in this? Well, we've got a storage container here, which look at that. we can throw our utensils in uh, maybe some other cooking stuff. Quite a bit of room on the one side, but we have a oh, six inch German steel chef's knife. This is actually very lightweight for a steel knife. I wouldn't have thought this was stainless steel, but it's uh, 4116 stainless steel right there on the side. And then right here we have a three and a quarter inch paring knife, also 4116 stainless steel from Germany. But this is also super light. These have a plastic grip on them with a rubber insert. Both of them are the same. Be careful, I don't cut myself here. And we have some eyelets here if we want to hang these. So I suppose we could do this. The only thing I don't like is, I don't like how that knife is sticking up right there. So if you were to accidentally put your finger over that, you get a little bit of an owie, I think. So I don't think that's the safest, despite our motto of safety second, but I suppose it could work. Maybe if I found a, well, I guess we could start this way.
guess the only question is, does this close? No. I think what I need to do is talk to my friend Doug, who owns Outback Adventure Products, the maker of this trail gator, and see if they can design one with a magnet on one side, up and down, vertically. Because I think then we could store our knives in here and not worry about it. But at least we have this uh, cool sheath system that actually locks the knives in place, not just has them floating around. That's always been the kind of problem with bringing knives is that uh, you have to have sheaths for them all the time. And if you don't, then you cut yourself or you're gonna damage your blades, but we can lock these into place and they're not gonna go anywhere. And then we can put this lid on, but we can stow everything in here and use these nice latches, keep everything tucked in here nice and tight. So if we can actually get this closed. No, I think the dish soap is gonna cause us problems. I don't need this much for every trip. There we go, now we have everything we need. And this is how I currently stow my knife so we can get rid of this. And then it looks like we can just flip that in there and then it goes. What I would have preferred though, is this to be, what, two inches shorter? And then this would slide right into my, my milk crate perfectly, but I guess you can't design everything exactly how I want it for my setup. All right, let's pop open the complete cook set and just see how much is packed into this tiny little cube. Okay, we got something in this cardboard here. It's like Christmas, it's all wrapped up. Oh, okay. This looks like a clip-on handle so that we can minimize how much of a footprint this takes up. This looks much more sturdy than, than this flimsy handle on this pan because this thing actually pops out of these sometimes. And when you're handling this and it's hot, it's uh, not the most it's not the best feeling. It's, you gotta be careful. This, this, you could fight off a bear with. Nice little travel case. Always, I find annoying to put stuff back in. Odds of this finding its way back into a travel case ever again, low. I have a lid with a handle, another lid. Now these are not plastic, these are I'm gonna guess stainless steel. Probably says somewhere on the box. Yep, yep, these are stainless steel. This is called a basting dome. Simmer lid. We have some plastic bowls. These are all nesting bowls in different colors. We have four of them. If you wanna stack them, be fancy. And something to hang them on in case you need to hang them up. We have a large plastic bowl here, microwavable in case you have a microwave in your Jeep or camper or trailer. I guess this isn't just for Jeep people. I was trying to find the volume of this, but if you want to measure, there are measurements right here on the inside of the bowl. Uh, this goes up to 10 cups. 10 cups is about an inch from the top or 2.5 liters, which is a little higher. These are about six and a quarter inches. And this is, what's that? Eight, eight and a half inches. More tissue paper. There's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> More than I want to clean. But we also have four plates of similar colors. Sort of an outdoorsy feel. These are eight and a half inches. And then we have a pot. Oh, well, there's more in here, more than a pot. There's stuff between the layers. This is not a backpacking pot. This is quite heavy, quite thick, which is nice when you're out camping and the wind is blowing on your cooking, uh, cooking gear. The thicker the metal, the more it's gonna retain the heat and not have so much heat loss. So we've got a nice size pot here. This is gonna be a 10 inch pot. This is 5.3 liters, which the box tells me is also 
5.6 quarts. If you use quarts, I do not. And we have a couple handles on here, once again. Handles that aren't going to just fall off, like the very expensive jet boil set that I was showing you a minute ago. Those pot handles fall off too. And in the bottom, we have a silicone uh, heat mat, which is nice if you're bringing a plastic table, you've got a hot pot, put it down, boom, don't melt your table. Oh, and we have a pan. And also, once again, a thick pan, not thin, not a thin pan. Listen. And this pan here is nine and three quarters inch across. And then I guess here we uh, take our little handle if we need to move our pot. Oh, we put it under, I see. And then it locks in place. Look at, we can do this with this removable handle. And then we can remove it. And then this has a rubber grip on it. Well, I guess there is some reason to keep this bag because you can't figure out how to nest everything back together again. There's a nice little diagram here on the bottom. This is super handy because not only will I forget, but if I've got my friends with me who are helping me clean up after dinner, they know how to put everything back away and stow it properly. All right, now before I put all this back together and give you my final thoughts on what I think of this cool little kitchen kit from Gerber Gear, let's see if this actually works on an inductive cooktop because they don't actually say. You need to make sure your cookware is inductive cooktop friendly, certified. So on this, it's really hard to see, but you can basically set the watts. I mean, set this all the way up to 1800 watts. And let's see if it heats up. Hopefully it doesn't kill my uh, inductive cooktop if it's not inductive cooktop certified. All right, so we're just hitting a boil right now. We're at about eight minutes for a liter and a bit of water. Almost. Something I just noticed with these pot lids, which is really nice, or the jet boil, is look, they actually stay up. Once they're flipped up, you don't have to grab them every time you want to use your pot and lift them up. So what do I think of this whole kit? Well, it's a lot of stuff. Way more than I would need going out on a single camping trip. I don't really need four plates. I don't need four bowls. I never need a mixing bowl, really. The pot, I, d I don't think I ever really need a giant pot unless we're bringing Chef John with us. And then a pan, this is a really nice pan. I do like this pan and I do a lot of pan cooking when I'm out camping. So what do I think of this whole set? It's <laughs> getting steamed up from the hot water here. What do I think of this whole setup? Is this all feels like the quality you would expect with Gerber gear. Just like their, their really nice knives, all of their cookware the, feels really high quality. The pots are really nice and heavy and thick and they're stainless steel. It's got great little things that you don't think about, like the handle staying up, a really sturdy handle that we can put on here. And when we're done cooking our bacon, we can throw the grease off into the bush and not worry about our handle coming off. That I really like. I really like this pan. I really like the pot. I, I, I like kind of the whole kit. And as far as the cutting board and the knife set goes, this I really like. This is super nice and compact. It lets me stow some of my kitchen junk inside here so that I don't have to go and look for, you know, Ziploc bags, cleaning materials, uh, cleaning supplies, fork and knives. I got stuff to cut with. This is really great for if I need to just quickly whip up a sandwich. I've got everything I could possibly need and I don't have to go searching for anything. So this is definitely going to find, I'm already getting this all gummed up. So this is definitely going to find a home in my Jeep. I think it's going to go into that milk crate that I was showing you guys earlier. So I've got easy access for making lunches and sandwiches. That's very common. As, as for all of this other stuff, I think this is a really good setup if you're looking for something super compact to maybe store in your camping, your camper trailer on the back of your truck. Uh, maybe you've got a pop-up tent trailer. You're trying to keep everything all 
super tight, super compact, super efficient. You've got a family of four. So you've got four bowls, four plates. They don't supply any cu cutlery. The, you have to order those titanium sporks separately, but that's, that's no big deal. Um, you've got everything you need to cook a meal. You've got a nice pan, just like you would have at home. Nice pot, just like you'd have at home. This is a great setup, I think, if you need all of this stuff. For me, though, I think this is a great pan that I'm gonna put into my kit because I can stow this in here like that. We can use this with my inductive cooktop. We have a metal lid. I guess I should have done the boiling water thing with a lid on. I bet it would have been faster. Somebody's gonna call me out on that. Um, but we've got a nice metal lid. So the thing that with my jet boil lid, for instance, Chef John keeps melting it because it doesn't do well covering a pan. It does, it's there to boil water, not to cover a pan. So I like this lid. I can flip it upside down. Can we? With the handle in here, if we do it like that. Yep, we can store that in there like that. This, along with one of these, that is what I'm gonna bring camping with me. So I can put a paper plate on top of here so it's nice and sturdy, and then I don't have to clean anything. I've got everything I need right in here to cook with. So generally, I'm doing more simple one pan meals. And then if we bring Chef John with us out camping, we can just grab all of the rest of the stuff. And he's got some really nice cookware and everything he needs to prepare us some pretty awesome meals. But with that said, I now have way more room in my cooking tote if I bring my inductive cooktop and my scaled down version of the Gerber Gear cooking set. I think what I would really like to see in addition to this cook set, which I think is a really nice cook set, is for Gerber to come out with a solo version, a one person or two person simplified version of this cook set that you could get. I mean, it really would just be the same products they already have with a different bag and you'd be done. I'll leave links to everything that you saw in this video down in the description below. As well, if you wanna see the review video I did about the jet boil stove, some of the pros and cons of that, I'll leave a link down in the description below with all the other products here. Uh, check out dirtyanddangerous.com, grab some merch. As well, leave me some ideas down in the comments of other things you wanna see reviews about on the channel. I'm uploading videos, checking out new things all the time, and I'm here to help you guys figure out what you might wanna buy next for your camping setup, your off-road setup, your overlanding setup, whatever your needs may be. And don't miss those videos. Hit subscribe, check out some more videos. I upload them all the time. My name's Casey, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. What if we just kept this box? I think that's better than the bag.